Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look more at passing values into functions in C++. Now so far in this program we have created a void function that displays some output. We also have a function that returns a string that is used to get their favorite sport and we reuse the same function again to get a string back for their favorite travel location. We also created another function that gets a number value from the user, so we use that once to get their age, and then we reuse that same function again in order to get their lucky number. So next what we're going to do in here is to create a function that is going to calculate the hours. Now I know that this is not a very complicated calculation, but I just do want a simple function to be able to demonstrate how to pass value in. Right? We did one where we passed in a string in order to change the prompt depending on what we were asking the user. And we're going to do one where we pass in a number. So we're going to be passing in the integer that represents their lucky number. And then we end up using that in our story to say uh, that times 24 is how many hours it took them to fly back from their favorite travel destination. So even though our calculation is a, only a single simple line, we're going to demonstrate to, how to create a function and pass that in. And then our last function in here is going to be to put everything together to display the personal ad. So our function is going to be to calculate hours. So I'm going to move down here where I have my user defined functions set up. And we're going to return an integer once we're finished. All right, hours once we're finished is an integer, so it's going to return that back again. So I'm going to call this calc hours. And in order for it to do its job, it's going to need to get some information in. It's going to need to get this lucky number in. So I'm going to tell it that it should expect an integer, and the variable name that we're going to call it, we'll call it lucky num. And then I'm going to put in my opening and closing curly braces. And I'm going to cut this and put it inside my calc hours function. So this is passing in lucky number, and it won't know, if I run this right now, it won't know what hours is. Well, we haven't even called this function yet, but we run it, it's going to fail on here because it doesn't know what hours is. Even though there's nothing in this program that's calling it yet, our program still recognizes that this is not going to work. So in here I'm going to create an integer called total hours, and we will return total hours back and that's going to be equal to lucky num that gets passed in times 24 and so then we're going to return total hour so let me just run that and see oh, doesn't match so lucky num all right so this succeeded in building so now this is set up properly but I also need a function prototype we don't get an error for it yet because we haven't called it in our function yet, in our main function. So we already have a variable in here called hours. So I'm going to say hours equals calc hours. And it recognizes from setting it up, the definition, that it's going to expect an integer and the value that's going to come in should be for lucky number. So I'm going to pass in lucky. And like the other ones, we'll do a C out so that we can see what the hours are. So now if I go to run this, then we do get a failed error because it says undeclared identifier calc hours. But I did define it down here, calc hours. But the issue is I didn't create a function prototype. So the type it's going to return is an integer and it's called calc hours. And we are going to pass information into it. We only need to include the type in here. So it's going to pass in an integer. And so now when I run it, we have succeeded. And I can fill in this other information. And lucky number. 
And so it took in the lucky number, passed it into calc hours. Calc hours took that, multiplied it times 24, and then returned total hours back up and returned total hours back up here and assigned it to hours and then we print it out. So that is passing in an integer whereas with this one you could see we were passing in an exact string. Okay next the last thing we'll do is a function that's going to display this ad. So our ad is not going to return anything it's just going to display the output that puts all of these variables into it. So what I'm going to do is in my user defined functions section I'm going to create a void function called show story and inside the parentheses I'm just going to cut this whole thing and put it in. And then we need a function call so I'm going to say show story and we also need a function prototype for it to tell the compiler that, yeah, we have created a function and defined it. So now I'm going to run, and we have failed. So what is the problem here? All right, so down in my show story function, it's calling in here. And when it gets down into show story, the error starts showing up here with sport. And then um, there's a bunch of them. There's it thinks it might be sort, but all of the variables that are in here for sport and travel and hours, it doesn't know what it is. And that's because they were created up here in the main function, but they're not in our show story function. So again, how do we get these variables into this function so it can display it? Well, we pass them in. So I'm going to start by going up to the function prototype and we're going to specify we need to pass in sport and so sport is a string. The next type of data that gets passed in, uh, let's, I'm just going to go in order here so I don't forget anything. So sport, um, we need age which is an integer, we need travel which is a string, we need lucky which is an integer and we need hours, which is an integer. So this is specifying the type of data that our show story function should expect to get passed in. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to put that into my show story function call, where we're going to start it. But instead of the data types here, well, you know, while I'm at, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste that in here as well. And when we're making our function call, we actually use the variable names instead of the data types. So the string, the first string that comes in is sport. The integer, the first integer is age. The second string is travel. The next integer is lucky. And then the last integer is hours. Then in our function definition, we have to include not only the data type, but the variable name. Now you saw in other examples that we can use the same name if we want to, or we can change them to different ones. And for, for this example, I'm just going to use the same name because it just makes sense to be able to use the same thing. So string sport, int age, another string for travel. The next integer is lucky, and then the last integer is hours. So now we're setting this up to pass in these variables into the show story function. So now it should know what sport is and age is and travel is. So I'm going to run it, and we have a succeeded. And let me move this up so we have more room. Fill in the information, and then it creates and displays the entire ad, and it puts the variables into our storyline. Now you don't necessarily want to repeat back out everything that the user said. That was really for our own purposes, so that we could just double check and make sure that the information was coming back out of the function properly. So to clean this up, I'm just going to comment out Using C out is a good way of just checking and verifying that things are working the way you think they should be. 
And so now I'm going to run it again, and we'll put this information in, and it won't repeat back out whatever we replied. Okay. So watching all of these videos have been able to go from beginning to end in displaying, creating a void functions, functions that return a value type, and we did an example of one with a string and one with integers. And then we also demonstrated how to pass information from your function call into your function, like we did with these strings. And we also passed in variable names, like we did with calc hours and our show story. And then to be able to use them and incorporate them in your functions.